one one year six months one and a half yeah almost two years <laughs> after the second year that's when you can see <laughs> okay. you are making decent, decent money. money even that. and extensively i mean recently you're in south africa so how do you position yourself so that like some of these big brands can notice you and when you're reaching out to them like what do you say Okay, so, so I think like a typical Ghanaian wedding. wedding. Uh, when you say typical Ghanaian wedding, which one do you want to do the traditional wedding? Yeah, traditional wedding, not okay. those. I've been to the regular white wedding, white wedding but you know that whole bright price. Mm -hmm. I want to see if it's quite similar to, to ours. It's, it's a little different. But I see you've attended one in Nigeria. Nigeria. It's a little different. It depends. Okay, so it also depends on the tribe. Yeah. In Ghana, in Ghana, every tribe. Is Is the hardest thing. It ever. is. Let Rich Auntie come and tell us how. how yeah, she's I think. As later, because so, let's do a sit down she's, video. She's about a YouTuber. Um, Stella, how long have you been doing it? This is three years. I'll be four wow. No, I'll be four years this in June. Okay. Yeah, you've been with it for a minute, right? Yeah. That's, that's a that was more even so long, but because no, but it's, 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 it's a minute. Yeah, you know, to keep creating, creating for four years, for four continuously, years. irrespective of how ghetto YouTube can become sometimes. Because yeah. are you talking about her numbers? Because I've seen some YouTubers that have been on YouTube for way longer than you have been on YouTube, mm -hmm. and they don't have half of the numbers you have on YouTube. I think that has something to do with being consistent, right? Consistency, yes, consistent, and then being real, <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, um, continue doing what you think you like. Because if you, are, if you begin to copy people, that's when then. It becomes like you are forcing yourself, but if it's something you yourself you enjoy, it becomes easy to like create. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there is it's like you're turning your job to something, something you, like your yeah, fun to yeah, your yeah, job. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I feel like your I'm hobbies. still at the experimental phase, so I have like two sides of me I'm a channelist. Mm, but yeah. I'm also a YouTuber, yeah. And those two things are always like so. The interviews you see the journalist, mm -hmm. and then okay. for the vlogs well, that we do see with the, you, it's I yourself. really try to get out of my shell. Like if I'm alone, we really create a lot of vlogs together. Yes, but it's because I am conditioned as a journalist. Okay. There's a, there are things you don't do. There are places you don't like. There are things just as a TV journalist you're taught. Like for like eight years, I've been conditioned that. This is how you I behave. Should. Okay. You shouldn't be yourself completely. You should give people the very, the very least part of you. Yeah. You know, like when you see me, into, like you don't know me. I just come. I do my job. I go. And go. That's it. That's yeah. the reason why. Even sometimes on interviews, I don't show my face. People always like, why? We won't do it today. I personally like, no. think you should be yeah. showing your face on it's your interview. It's about you. And then yeah. now YouTube asks you to give you your whole self. And that sometimes can be complex because I'm like, am I going to say the wrong thing? Is it going to be too much? You know, so it's, it's, it's still a little bit of conflict. And I'm going through that journey of discovering myself and saying, how far I am I willing to so. push myself when it comes to content? Like this is, a, I think this is a second travel video that I'm doing and not bad. So if I find myself, like you said, if I find myself that I'm enjoying, then yeah. I'll keep trying that. You yeah, know? but then you personally, people now know you like for your interviews. People are like, I think because like, so I mean, it doesn't matter. Of... Doesn't matter. You can still include the, the travel, uh -huh. so that people understand that if you can, you have to time you travel. If you can't, you do the interviews, yeah. which is perfectly fine. Yeah, I think yeah. we get to see more of your because sometimes on your vlogs. Yeah, you know, you notice that sometimes if I also don't have content, I do lifestyle videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's also oh, yeah, I saw the sip and yeah. video. Yes, okay, it's a, like yeah. a lifestyle, so I'm like, okay. And I mean, even the wedding. The wedding, yes. Yeah. I really want to attend like a typical Ghanaian wedding. wedding. Uh, I when you I, say typical Ghanaian wedding, which one, do you want to do the traditional wedding? Yeah, the traditional wedding, not okay. those. I've been to the regular white wedding. white wedding, but you know that whole bride price. Mm -hmm. I want to see if it's quite similar to, to ours. It's, it's a little different. But I see you've attended one in Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. It's a little different. It depends. Okay, so it also depends on the tribe. Yeah. In Ghana, in Ghana, every tribe it, in and, Nigeria also depends on the every tribe. tribe and their style. Yes. But then it all boils down to the fact that there's a bright price. Okay. There are some items you need to present. 
there is money to obviously the bride price also comes with um, father-in-law money, money mother-in-law money, money, siblings, and siblings. Oh, it happens like that in Kenya too. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's an African like thing. There's, there's always African an thing. It's just the style. Oh, yeah, 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 the party changes. style is different. Mm -hmm. Talking about money on YouTube because it's one of where uh, I will start crying. Please. Really? <laughs> She is the bigger YouTuber, so let her tell us about Our her journey. Auntie. And hey, walk us through like from when you were monetized to now. When did it like? How long did it take to start any decent money? Because decent money. Oh, when I say decent money, when you say decent money, okay, like, like you know, YouTube, you can only end, you can only redraw if it is hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. So hundred dollars okay. is decent money. Okay. So what? Right. What I think the thing is, when did? YouTube start paying for itself and then well, paying you a little yeah. bit more because okay, now what we're doing like, is we are paying YouTube, YouTube. yeah because we are spending way too much to create content and we're not getting back the returns so how long do you have to go through that phase using your experience before maybe you can break even you don't even have to tell us how much you earn but I think to break even you should be on YouTube okay okay well it depends on it depends on the person yes. and then how far you can you can also go mm -hmm. I think um, one year, one one year, six months, one and a half, yeah, almost two years. <laughs> After the second year, that's when you can see <laughs> you okay. are making decent, decent money. money. Even that, they are they good are, days. They are good months. Now we know the year they are bad days. Yeah. And there can be extremely good days that will pay for the for bad, the bad days. days. So it's 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 funny. Like let me give for instance, uh, this last year December, right, twenty twenty one, I did vlogmas. I posted every day in the month of December. I was um, January. I enjoyed the money was so good. But I guess what? February was okay. March. I, I think remember. March was my terrible ah, month. Also, very terrible. I March was so very terrible. terrible. Yeah. So I was like, okay, at least that January money was able to pay for, for the okay, month. For so the month. it depends. And YouTube is also very seasonal. That's one thing people don't know. Okay, it's very very seasonal. The best season is in December. Yeah. If you have content posts every day. Yeah, December. Now after December, we move to beginning of the year. It ends in gen ending of January. February, it's okay. March, mm -mm, hardship starts. Because hardship. March, April, May, hardship starts. And guess what? Summer is coming. So July, August, okay. September. A good month. Because reason is if you are in let's say in your, your home country or let's say you are in Ghana. People are trying to come to Ghana for summer holidays, so they are googling things, they are searching. So you tell me maybe your videos can come in handy at that particular time. And people are discouraged because we're in the rainy season now, so they don't feel they need to create. So create the more time that you are supposed oh, so that to be creating more content. Will be looking for it. Your yeah. content will be coming on. Yeah. So I think my takeaway from that is know when the high seasons are yes. and drive that high. But it doesn't also mean that you don't create when you're in the low season. You never know what can what can feel like. Yeah. Personally, in YouTube, yeah. right? Yeah. I've, I think I've been for almost a year now. What thing I've noticed is the first for different persons, right? Your bad mode might be my good mode, yeah, oh, yeah. on YouTube, yes, yes. and then my good mode might be your bad, your bad yeah, mode. So yeah. you can't actually depend on oh, this is the good mode, so this is when I have to create. No, 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 I think you still have to create. You still have to create. Just that you you put in more effort where you know that today you get them. Like December, December, please, I will encourage any creative creator. Try and do the vlogmas. Even if you're not monetized, it will it will, it will yeah, it's okay, so when you say vlogmas, so they every like day down to Christmas. Yes. yes. But it doesn't have to be Christmas content. It's no, just no, content you, every day resets. you create content. I think content. I will try that because in December I made good money. Mm -hmm. for, like, From your interview yeah. also. You, yeah, that your I, video I that, said it. Yeah, that your video I've done did my so video. Well. I, I I made eight hundred dollars. It's out there. I already did the video. Oh yeah. That was good. For one, video. for one video, yeah. Wow. So you know, it's um. Okay, yeah. Sure. Mom, baby. Now that I know that December is a good month, this year December, like I'm supposed to go home this year December, I told my parents, huh? I'll come next year March. Go no, but you me. can do till like twenty third. Yeah. And but then, then you can go. Air tickets home. will be great. And then no, but just, if if, if you are buying air tickets, early. don't buy them. Yeah. You buy it way yeah. before them. But I I think I just want to capitalize on the whole December. I think December. If you are going home, you are going home December. No, I told them I will not go. No, 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 no. You could actually go home, and that would be great content for, for you also. It showing it something different. You know, I did in Nigeria, right? I did and vlogmas. You did vlogmas. Yeah, I did vlogmas in yeah. Nigeria. And even even vlogmas is even sweeter if you are in another country. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. If you're in your home country. Yeah. Wait, will her baby be around? Wait, um, August, July? No, August, September, September October. October. November. So I can do, I can do. Can but we like. You know, you know, last year, right? Yeah. I, I, I think I, I left day, Ghana actually. August and I didn't create anything until December. Mm -hmm. December, I was like, okay, I'm going to do Vlogmas in Nigeria. And I did Vlogmas in Nigeria. It was one of my very. It was one of his mm, best months so far, but I think May. Rich and the other May. No, you know, in Nigeria, I was starting that business I told you about. Yes, so I didn't so really have time didn't to. Have enough time. So after that eight months in Nigeria, I came back and in May, I tried to like this lap past May. I posted a video every, every day. day. I remember it was you, crazy. It was crazy. I came back May, April, and then I rested. I was trying to get things working wow. again. And then May, I signed that. Really it's amazing. Not the money aspect, because right now I feel like I'm quitting content just for the love of it and building a community. See when it will actually start, you know, paying, paying for itself. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, I was in Nigeria for eight months. I didn't create anything. So my numbers were just like, yeah and then i came and i created that may and my numbers were like wow i'm like so i can like you get back, this yeah. amount of views in a month and you know the algorithm was like not favorable because i wasn't posting for a long time and then i posted every day it's something i would really love to do i think again I don't know. No, I, I think I, I might think do. I'll, I'll save it for December. Yeah, you can save it for December. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I plan. Most especially so, because you are now giving it a try. Yeah. So yeah. I think I'll shoot some content in Ghana, and then because I think I also wanna wait, but we have to also go home in March. Anyway, I'll think about it. But thank you for the tip. December, I am shooting every single day. <laughs> yeah, oh my god! First to Christmas, twenty-five days. No, 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 to 25 videos. That's 25 yeah, And then videos. I can use the last week. The to rest. Maybe just, mm -hmm. Yeah, because I will burn out. Because then so usually I have to continue. There's, 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 there's that also, huge burnout. What happens is, personally, I usually go on break in January. Because I know I've done a lot in December. January, I just come back in the last week in the January. I rest. Okay. Yeah. Also, what I can do is maybe I can shoot the interviews and then they'll just be going in January. Yes. As I yes. rest. Yeah. yeah. Also, I want to ask because you've done this longer than us um in terms of say partnering with brands how does that work you've traveled a lot and extensively i mean recently you're in south africa so how do you position yourself so that like some of these big brands can notice you and when you're reaching out to them like what do you say okay so um initially when i started i was not reaching out to anyone because most of the people who are who were already up there used to tell us that you need to get a brand get a brand first so for the first year concentrate on yourself and your brand um when i say concentrate on yourself and your brand is um your niche if it yeah. is food maintain it like main, let them know you for food let them know you for travel let them know you for interviews let them know you for um, being silly let them know you for your comic your jokes yeah so then when you create that now everybody begins to know that oh this is i know what you for, yeah, this. for this i know you for that then then um you start reaching out based on the numbers and the brand you have you reach you get the numbers you get the numbers i mean you build the numbers then you can start reaching out so if it's me i would say that i i wouldn't yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes you can now start reaching out to the hotel let's say hotel and say the, oh um collaboration most people for the start might not want to pay you They'll say okay, collaboration. Come and spend the night in exchange. You create one. Hey, that's place. something. Sorry, yes. I wanted to ask you about because I've quite a while for a while now. I've had some few people like reach out wanting to like collaborate, and then they'll be like, "Oh, you do this for this and this because I'm a small YouTuber." I feel like so far though, I don't accept brand because they don't offer anything tangible for small YouTubers, but they want you to put so in the work. So if you don't, how do you like pick out? the good brands to like work with um, i think it's 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 you you as a person and then what you are also seeking to achieve if from beginning you are seeking to achieve you want to use you use the ones you have available for your series like you need to build okay, your brand so when you create them. the content you can now use that content you've created to sell to another bigger brand and collect the money from uh -huh. them so yeah you see, you see because i was so a bit confused about you see it as though like you're not getting anything out of it but there's more to it than that you have to try and make content enough such that if i use that to now get the bigger brand because i feel like most yeah. most uh, most of those brands they reach out to 
to small youtubers because they know you're not i don't have, i don't know how to i don't want to yeah. be offensive but then, but then that, i think it's it's just preference you, you know yeah. what you want if it's not good for you you can just ditch okay so i think for you. when you're ready to get there then you can pick like you can just say for the next three months i'm gonna do pro bono work and do like a really good job and then i'm gonna use this work to now sell myself to like for me i know like when i hit like 10k subscribers because i haven't hit 10k like when i hit 10k i might put myself out there to do a little bit of pro bono work knowing that if i work like with five brands and then maybe i go and approach somebody i can't i don't have to tell them this brand i worked with them for free no, i'll no, be no, like no, i have be, 10k yes, i, I have, worked with abc exactly so yeah so you use that to sell so and and the, I mean even now I have I did a a, a free bono for a client some time ago right in my head I'm like ah you have wasted my floor and all that guess what I actually got a deal out of that gig wow. and I got it times two of what I was expecting wow so okay. and then in my head I'm like sometimes you just have to listen to your instinct yeah right? and then there are days that if you you don't want to do free bono from start don't do it it's yeah. your choice. It's a choice. So, and I think you can yeah. also like call us back in and say you don't have to pay me the big money, but yeah, maybe can you cover it. some at least some transportation costs, my yeah. time, you know. And because so, the kind of content I create, like you know the kind of content mm -hmm. I create. If you're reaching out to me to like, oh come on to what you do here, I I I'm not I'm not saying you should pay me, but you should be able to cover basic things, not yeah. oh exposure or whatever. I don't feel like I should be I, yeah, I if you don't deserve if you don't feel, I, you deserve feel like, that yeah you, you don't take it because like say like a place like we've come today like it's really fast so if somebody wants to collaborate even if they're not paying you maybe they can just cover your transport yeah yes. so yeah that's it so i think i think it's just patience so yeah your food is here so you don't need food yeah guys i love you and i love okay <laughs> i have to eat go and eat i'm waiting for my word it's lapia gang so it's our lapia food gang. is taking it's longer so good yeah it's so good oh my goodness evening uh, we're well, literally just sitting just you know having a little shit chat by youtube getting some insight from people that have been doing it for a very long time